In January 1862, William Mason was awarded a contract to produce 50,000 muskets with a second order for another 50,000 if he completed all the work at his plant. Mason, a very successful entrepreneur from Taunton, Massachusetts, was a builder of machinery and railway locomotives. Mason bought machinery to produce 100,000 muskets. He spent approximately $72,000 of his own money. He also planned to farm out some of the components to other companies such as the locks, but would assemble each musket at his plant. After his costly purchases, the government informed him if he wasn't going to manufacture all his components in his armory, then the contract for the second 50000 would be canceled. William Mason argued his case before the newly established War Commission. He testified his interpretation of the contract was his muskets were to be assembled at his armory. The manufacturer of some components he planned to contract out, as did other contractors of muskets. They reduced his total to 30,000 muskets, and he was forced to sign a new contract superseding the previous one. Mason ultimately argued his case before the United States Supreme Court, where he also lost. One Supreme Court judge did agree with his case. Mason then completed the 30,000 musket contract and left the musket building business. He returned to building locomotives. Union soldiers were proud to carry a Mason musket. Let's take a look at a model 1861 William Mason musket dated 1863. 